This is the free motion quilting tutorial for square spiral flow. This design is stitched by first starting with a wiggly line and then you're going to stitch a square and stitch inside of that with a little open spiral. Actually that's a closed spiral. You're going to stitch that spiral and travel stitch your way all the way back out. Then get back on the outside and wiggle around again. Create another square, fill it with another closed spiral and travel stitch your way back out again. And I know that this is quite tiny and a little tricky to see but basically you're just kind of wiggling around. This is a foundational design so you're creating this foundational line with these squares and if you wanted to make it easier you don't have to fill it with the spiral unless you want to. It's entirely up to you. Kind of make the design what you want and uh, what needs to happen on your quilt. You know, so you don't have to do that unless you want to. So you can see I'm just randomly stitching these kind of in many different directions, many different angles so that they stand out uh, all over the quilt. And I'm taking this foundational line throughout. If this was a big quilt I would uh, make sure that this foundational line was reaching most of those areas of the quilt but without stitching myself into a bad corner or locking myself into an area. You don't want to stitch yourself into a corner. So now the second part of the design is to travel stitch and start echoing this foundational line. You can see I'm just stitching a set distance away and when I reach this square spiral box I'm going to travel stitch and kind of reach that beginning and then echo around it with nice straight lines and sharp angles. The cool thing about this design is it's combining curvy flowing lines and straight um, square lines. So it's kind of two different textures mixing together. And you can see what effect this has as you get a little further in the design. Now no matter how hard you try you're always going to have some weird areas. The central area of this design is always going to kind of start working a little weird. And so I'm just trying to keep this consistent working my way into this little pocket. And when I get it finished I'll simply travel stitch my way back out. There really is no such thing as working yourself into a corner with quilting because you can always travel stitch along one of the lines of quilting that you've already stitched and get your way all the way back onto the outside. So here you can see me doing that. I'm just going to travel stitch along those lines, get back up into this little pocket right here. And the best way to keep it consistent is just make sure that the curvy lines stay curvy and the straight lines stay straight. So work your way out again and you can see the edges of that square spiral. I'm still trying to keep those lines straight and even but the edges of the foundational line I'm trying to keep those nice and curvy so that it really continues that design. It continues that contrast of straight lines and curvy lines together. So now I've travel stitched up and I'm going to fill in this side as well with more echo lines. You can see how this funky texture looks. It really is a lot of fun. Uh, and there's many, many variations that you can play with with this design. You could fill the square with another design, maybe pebbling. Uh, you could may even change the lines. Instead of curvy flowing lines, you could do circuit board, a giant circuit board instead. So it would be lots of straight lines and sharp angles. There's many different things that you can do with this design. So have fun stitching it in your quilts. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Square Spiral Flow. Find over 300 videos on free motion quilting plus many tools and supplies to make this easier on your home sewing machine at freemotionproject.com.